There's a shapeshifters card that you need to try and I'm going to be showing you him in this video. If you're tired of coming up against teams like this, you can get some foot coins through MMO EXP using the link down below. You can also use code Jambu for 5% off. So guys, we're going to be looking at the shapeshifters cards. There's one in particular that I think you guys just have to give a go. I think he's insane value for actually what he is as well. But before we get into the video, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, comment down below who is your favorite shapeshifter card that you have used, and subscribe if you're new. But let's get into the video, boys. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so we'll start off with one that's probably unobtainable for most people, but... You know, also probably the best one. I mean, it makes sense, right? We do have Van Dyke. And this card is just... It's on another level. It genuinely is. He's six foot four with the five-star weak foot. I actually think the play is to try and get this guy back into centre-back. If you can somehow afford him... I mean, this is the best centre-back on the entire game without any doubt in my mind. If you can actually get him there. He can play centre-mid CDM... Absolutely ridiculous. Just ridiculous. There's not too much to say. Uh, we'll move on. We do have Rudiger, who he isn't a bad price, actually, I think, for what he is. Um, you can obviously play him as a striker. I think as like a midfielder, box to box, he'd be a super, super valuable card. Um, insane pace, insane shooting. He's good on the ball. His passing's good. His defending, whilst it's not great, it's definitely good enough to play as like a box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, and his physicals are just outrageous as well. He does have the outside of the foot shot trait. All those Travellers. And he's definitely one that's worth taking a look at. Uh, we then have Mares, who... he He's very expensive. Around 1.7 million coins. But I genuinely think for how good this card is... It's actually not the worst deal in the world. He's 5-star, five 5-star... Five you know, this is up there with the best attackers in the entire game. He's going to be so good on the ball. You know, 99 finishing with a five-star weak foot and the skills. It's just anything in front of goal, this guy's going to score. Insane link-up play, you know, with that passing. He's quick. Both the shooting traits. This card is up there, man. It really is. Um, I'd say for him, wait for his price to drop a little bit. And you should be absolutely chilling. Uh, we then have Eric Bailly. Pretty underrated card, you know, he's super cheap, expectedly, you know, it, it's nothing spectacular, but he's got a five-star weak foot with some really good all-round stats. He can't shoot to save his life, unfortunately, uh, but other than that, you know, he's pretty good. He's another one where if you can find a way of getting him into centre-back, I think that is the best place for him. Um, it'd be one of the better centre-backs in the game, you know, if you can actually get him back there for sure. Pretty decent card. Uh, we then have Orsolini, who is one of the best fullbacks in the game, in my opinion. He's got the five-star skills, four-star weak foot, high, high work rates. He's quick, insane on the ball. Uh, his shooting's, you know, it's not great, but it's good enough where if he gets a chance, you know, from playing right wing back, um, if it falls to him, he, he's going to be able to score goals. And he does have the great defending at physical stats. Um, long throw-in as well. I don't think I've ever seen an opponent use one against me all year. But you just never know. Um, we do then have Alvarez. Dutch League. I mean, he's a good card. But it's just nothing to get too excited about. You know, 4-star, four 4-star. Four if you're going to play him anywhere, I do think it's a box-to-box -box centre mid. He does have both the shooting traits, actually, which is nice. Great shooting, passing. He's good on the ball. Just a very solid all-rounder. Uh, we'll then have a quick look at the premium shapeshifters. So, we do have Fran Kowski. Five-star skills. It looks like a nice card, to be fair. He'll be very glitchy, you know. He's only five foot nine with good physicals. He'll be very good on the ball. Very quick. Um, the lack of weak foot is a little bit sad, but it's a good card. Uh, we then have Becker. Not bad, for sure. Super good pace. Good agility balance. Um, you know, he's got great defending, physicals, definitely another one to keep an eye on. Uh, Toko Ekambi, this is not a great, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's definitely not awful to be fair. I was underestimating it. He's six foot one, four star weak foot. He'll actually be solid. I think there's better options out there, but he'll definitely be solid. He's got great finishing, you know, for an attacking wing back, um, power header and giant throw as well. But uh, not a bad card for sure. 
Uh, we've then got Thorgan Hazard. I really like this one. Four star, four star. You know, he's got elite defending for a fullback. Crazy, you know, finishing, passing. He's good on the ball. Um, I think this is like a perfect meta fullback for this five or three back if you're going to play him as a left mid. Uh, we then have Fernando Hierro. Insane value. Absolutely insane value. Um, six foot two. High, high work rates. Four star, four star. Can't shoot, which is sad. If you can find a way of getting this guy in at centre back, I'm telling you, man, this guy will be on another level. Look at that agility and balance to recover on the through balls. Look at the pace, you know, the defending. The slide tackle just doesn't matter. This guy is an elite centre back if you can find a way of getting him in there. Trust me on that. Um, and then this is the player that I wanted to focus on. And tell you guys that you need to buy. Because I think he is incredible value. When I first saw this card, I actually could not believe what I was seeing. And then I looked at the price and I couldn't believe it even more. So in past FIFAs, Socrates has always been a player where if I was ever going to use him, it would be as a centre mid. And it's sort of like he's always had the insane physicals, the finishing, the weak foot. But his defending was like 30, right? And it, it could cost you a little bit. You've now literally got a player that can attack better than Hullet in terms of his dribbling, passing, etc. And then has elite defending as well. Like, this is one of the, if not the best, genuinely midfielder in the game, in my opinion. I think he's absolutely insane. He's six foot four, high, high work rates. He's got the four-star skills, five-star weak foot, which is perfect for a centre mid. Crazy pace. You know, I would put a hunter on this guy. Hunter on him and play him as a centre mid. In like a in a 4-3-2-1 as the right centre mid. You know, getting them Travellers and stuff off. There seriously isn't much better. He, he is incredible. Like, the passing is outrageous. 88 agility and 87 balance on someone that's six foot four is just like game breaking. He's going to turn really well and he's a giant. He's going to win everything. Like his defending is better than most centre backs. It's crazy, right? Like he's got better passing than some of the best playmakers in world football. He's got better dribbling than most wingers. Better defending than most centre backs. The card is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. He's coming in. Uh, I think around 600k right now, which is bargain of the year. I think this is an absolute must-try card, genuinely. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Do yourselves a favour, go and try Socrates. He is... He is on another level, genuinely. Uh, but do me a favour, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below if you've used him. I'd be interested to know. But I will catch you guys on the next video. Subscribe if you're new. And peace.